Hi, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is my first episode of Throwback Thursdays, and we are starting a new game called uh, Under Uncharted Waters. Uh, a little bit more about it. It's a trading sim game made by uh, Koei Corporation back in 1991, Super Nintendo. And uh, right now I'm going through character creation. Uh, this is your character's uh, a young man, basically starting out his, his career um, in the uh, days of old, uh, in the age of sail. You will basically be starting out with almost nothing as far as a ship goes there's very little that you can really deal with and sorry for the huge amount of background noise right now i am going to fix that here in a moment so here under charisma you want some pretty high 60s as far as you can get for every skill and this, there's a reason behind that because as you level up you know other Certain NPCs won't even talk to you unless you have pretty high charisma and things like that or join your crew. So just within the character creation, this is one of those pieces that really needs to be set up very well. Uh, right from the start, be careful of what you pick and how you level your skills. Uh, or you could basically damage your character uh, irreparably. Um, because if you had a strength of like 20, you know, or 40, you would, won't fight very well when it comes to your ship battles and things like that. That being said, you know, it takes several iterations to get through and get some decent counts. That one's not too bad. I think I might take that one. All right, charisma. So we're using our bonus point to spend here. Let's go 80 charisma. Uh, strength is your combat, so let's bump that up a bit, and let's move some courage up here, because if your courage sucks, then uh, you don't do too well in certain other things. Uh, wisdom is always decent to have up pretty good, uh, because you make pretty stupid choices, and, and I think the scale changes based on your trading status, and how well you handle certain other aspects of the game. Let's go higher. Yep, there we go. Uh, name of the flagship. Let's go with this for now. Sounds good. All right, so this is the start of our game. Um, as I said, you started this young man here in Lisbon, Portugal. And I can uh, let you read through this, but it's pretty much just your background. Uh, your father, oh yeah, yeah, he's in love with the princess. There's the old man there, the old sailor. Uh, he's your friend and partner. He's basically the only one that survived your father's voyage. And he's basically helping you out sailing through that storm that swept them all out to sea and killed everybody. But he's there to help now, and so he'll be more or less your kind of tutor for the very first start of the game. There's some better guys than him at a later point that uh, have a lot of an intellect and wisdom. So you can actually get re replaced, and you start out with a little tiny ship, and there you go. Um, this is the start of the game. Unfortunately, the graphics are what the graphics are, just because at that point, this was the limit of technology for Super Nintendo. So, first thing I'm going to do is go in here and sell your cargo. These are quick things to get you some money, super quick. And we are going to buy some sugar. There we go. And then I am going to run over here to the end. And first thing I need to knock out is take some of this crew down. I'm going to go to 10 and that will allow us to uh, travel farther and faster. So let's get Marco. Um, he's one of our first sailors that we can find as a crewmate. And if we tried Fernando right now, we're probably not going to get him just because he is a really good um, combat guy. He takes a lot of charisma and, and other skills to be able to uh, 
get the higher level um, guys on your side as far as far as crewmates go. This section down here, this building is the inn. This you can sleep in here. You can go in here and check your stats, your crewmates' stats, things like that. Uh, let's check out Marco. He's okay, uh, but he's a starting out guy at four, age 14. Pretty much he's only good at sailing, which he'll come in handy in a, in a little bit when we finally get a, a new um, ship. And then this building is, this is the uh, store where they sell you goods like extra icon, sextant, a dagger. This is always good to get soon early on just because it helps you know what your uh, position is at sea. And some of these help you in combat stats as well as this, uh, as well as weather. And then you can also get uh, information on nations. The inn here is all about hiring crew, uh, hiring, finding mates, getting information from the barmaids and from the bartender drinking, as well as gambling. In the castle here, you've got three castles, one at Lisbon, one in uh, uh, Istanbul, Turkey, and then um, one in Spain, in Madrid. And you basically go in here, you're going to get kicked out because you're a commoner. <laughs> you have no fame yet. So until you get some fame, you can't go in there. And down here is the port, uh, the docks, if you will. You can buy and sell fix your uh, machines, remodel them, your ships. You can buy used vehicles, you can buy new vehicles, but we're gonna leave that for now. And the first thing we're gonna do is run out here and sail away. We can sell for 18 days, 33 days. Sorry, I reduced my guys, yeah. But if you left it as is, you would only be able to sell for 18. So you can see why I dropped it down from 20 guys to 10 guys. And I can't do anything about that animation. And we'll try to go from here. One of the first things I want to do is discover the port of Bordeaux so we can sell that sugar. Uh, it just happens I've played this game so many times I kind of know where it is. Uh, otherwise, you'd be running around here looking for a sextant. Try to basically <laughs> find this, lo this port and location. There we go. Yes, and my scaling skill has improved. So there you go. That was kind of our first voyage. Um, I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way just to show you how the skills come up. Uh, we can go back in here and we can sell all of that sugar. That'll boost our points up. And first thing we're going to do is because we're already at 30 something days and food and water and stuff like that, we are going to max out on porcelain. Actually, Let's do grapes first and we'll come back and we'll do porcelain later. So let's do grapes and we know by the place that we're going to go to next, they have different options. Each store you go into, it's going to have a little something different. Like here you had the hawk, the sword, and nymph now. So you know, hey, you have different options depending on where you go. Very doubtful we're going to be able to get another crew member. Yeah. And there's a little bit of gambling in here. There's different things you can look at, but we're going to sail off right away and head up here to Antwerp. Unfortunately, like I said, you got to wait on these animations to roll out. But as soon as uh, they play out, you're back popping back up in the uh, overland map world. All right, first thing I want to do, can I turn... Uh, is it this? What is... Uh, I'm trying to find the key for disabling, ah, there we go, music, off, <laughs> speed, uh, let's change it to 10, uh, there we go, no, I'm not quitting yet. I want you guys to see Antwerp, but yeah, basically uh, I'm going to have to go around the horn here and you can see uh, yeah, no, that music was getting a little annoying to me. So sorry about that. I had to turn it off for the time being just because it is very monotonous. You know, it's, it's a standard JRPG 
uh, where you know you're going around, you're investigating the world map, you're finding new locations, trading goods, and discovering new ports, buying these implements like the sextant to find your way around. Yeah, and there is weather in the game as well as storms and things like that. So you have to buy the head of your ship, the mass, or uh, the figureheads. So you have to buy different figureheads and things like that. And yeah, grapes are 63 here. So we just made some buku bucks. There we go. And while we're here, we will buy porcelain. Actually, we won't. Let's wait on that. And let's buy sugar first and visit one more port while we're up here. So now we got 39. And as we go around to these different ports, um, I'm just going to show you basically Northern Europe. Um, and that's pretty much all the room we have. Uh, I am going to run up here. Uh, we're going to sail away. Yep, we got 22 days worth of food and water. Let's go, go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, if you're kind of ever in a problem where you run out of food and water, you can pretty, your game is pretty much over, you die. But there are some situations where you can land and find water sources. I will show you that option here as soon as we depart. Uh, okay, we want to go this way. And head right here. There we go. So if I debark here, you can go to go ashore and that will set up a little camp right here to the right or bottom of your ship somewhere on land. And when you are ashore, you can then go and search for water, search for treasure. Um, yeah, so you can kind of point where you want it to be and it'll take a day, but then you can do sail, fix your ship. Uh, like I can go in here now and I can fix this with lumber that I have on board. Uh, this is what the lumber is used for. And it says, okay, yes, repairs are finished. Takes another day. I can do search for water. Yep, didn't find anything. Let's search for treasure. Nope, nothing. Uh, we can wait here. We can transfer men off uh, to make more, make more room for uh, food and different things. Uh, let's sail though and we'll get back around here to where we need to be going. Uh, I need to go this direction. There we go. Right here is the port of. <gasps> oh, <on>. Hamburg. <laughs> and Oslo is directly across from this almost inside that little hook so basically showing you all of the ports of northern northern europe right now um, because uh, this is going to be important to your early game uh, when you uh, are buying and selling things so now we're up to what 40 4300 almost 4500 bucks there uh cheese grains cloth not much you can really do up here um, cloth is uh, something that's sold in the Middle East really cheap. Cheese you can get uh, here and sell in the, the U.S., the New World. But grain is what you're looking for because you can buy grain really cheap up here in Northern Europe. And you can sell it at a couple different places. Uh, one of them being your home port of Lisbon. Another key thing is while you're here, if you invest in these ports or buy things and things like that, he's only going to have little boats for now but you can actually start to increase the size of the ships that you have available. Like a Redonda is four fleet. Yes, let's have a look. He wants 920 gold for that. So we can actually buy a Redonda right now. Our ability 30. You can try to uh, negotiate with him. Let's buy it for that. Nope, no, he didn't take that. Then you can buy, sell, through the cost of everything. Um, you can buy new, you can tweak out your ship to certain specifications, things like that. 
uh, yeah so that's pretty much it and we're going to head out 20 days we're gonna head over to Oslo real quick let you check out that port um, where you can see we're not going to be able to sell the grain here that we just bought but uh, you can actually buy more grain in Oslo if you wanted to if you had another ship and there's some options and different places you can go uh, and as you go around the backgrounds of the ports and everything are going to be changed depending on where you go in northern Europe they've got this brick look um, when you go to the US it's uh, like straw and huts uh, when you go to Africa it's straw and huts when you go to the Middle East it's kind of those Middle Eastern buildings um, you know with the uh, weird roofs uh, where people sleep on top of uh, things like that so grain is only good at eight here we won't be buying any of that but you could buy more grain if you wanted to or you could buy cheese pretty cheaply up here as well this is just uh, another port I didn't want to stay here too long just wanted to show you this let's, let's not buy a, a ship yet we'll buy it on our next round but we do want to discover these ports and that's what I brought you up here for so we're gonna take off here and we're gonna head to London which if you know where uh, Norway and Hamburg are you can pretty much guess where London is and if you're fairly decent at geography that is <laughs> you are going to find it about right here straight ahead <laughs> uh, after this hook um, maybe a little bit more north right right about here I think it is yep there we go perfect and we can go in here to London oh sailing skill has improved again awesome might hear gossip at the end yes yes we know let's go check out the end one of these days and I can go in here check uh, green really bad still let's go to buy see if we can buy anything else 12 uh, firearms we can buy firearms up here and sell those in America pretty good uh, porcelain is always good and wool is what I am after uh, we can buy four wool since we made some room by eating our food and let's go and usually when they crop up little things like that uh, you can actually find stuff are there any mates nope let's gossip nope let's gossip again you'll have to do it a few times sometimes uh, someone is looking for me in Antwerp okay so that's why you get little missions like that sometimes the waitress should pretty much say the same thing yeah go to Antwerp and they'll tell you where to go in Antwerp um, these are two of the gambling games you can play poker or blackjack run around here and do a quick uh, session um, eh, we'll bet five to start hit uh, hit stand <laughs> see that's why I bet five to start um, this this uh, gambling game is not very good <laughs> Uh, as far as uh, you you winning Ooh, we'll stand on that yeah he went over so for the most part um, so we got our money back let's go ahead and pretty much close this out uh, hit uh, hit nope nope no we'll, we'll call it again we only lost five points so we'll call it a, an even match but that's pretty much it and then uh, as you go to different uh, ports here and there uh, you discover new things and find out what they have uh, angel amulet a saber sucks at telescope so a telescope is good in uh, coordinating with other ships or seeing what other ships are before you get close to them so like you could check out and see pirates and things like that so we'll, we'll, we'll call that for now um, uh, you can also get loot and sell it places I uh, it, you know you discover something things like that 
uh, at, at different places you go to as you go around the, the world and discovering new new entities and things like that. I'm not going to go into all the different ports or things like that for this episode. This is uh, just showing you the basics of uh, Northern Europe and starting out the game. Let's, uh, we know we got to go three, three over. I don't I don't want to go to Antwerp yet. And three down. So we, these are called uh, world tiles and as you notice we run into this one. This is right back where we were uh, heading back to Lisbon. So the next tile over three tiles up and down is uh, London from Lisbon. You can see the I'm not moving any keys or anything like that but the ship is moving. Uh, this is you can actually tell um, the wind direction and current there on your left hand side of the screen and the number of days you have food and water you have left and things like that uh, all of these you know you can actually look and, and survey different things to we don't have a sextant uh, info on different items crew cargo land all that you can order rationing you can distribute gold to your guys so their loyalty comes up things like that you can move and reassign captains and stuff that's about it we're going to wrap up here in a sec as soon as i sell off all of uh, our goods which is what we came in here for so there we can say we didn't make much off of this but we are doing 45 grain. We bought it at 11 and we're selling it for nine over. So yeah, pretty decent. And there's our wool. Made a decent amount. First thing we want to do, we know we got enough to kind of get up there. We want to buy some more sugar and we can do 59 of it this time. Max it out. And then we can head back to uh, Bordeaux, sell our stuff there in Bordeaux our sugar and then head up to Antwerp to not only take the mission but uh, sell the grapes that we buy in Bordeaux and sell them up in Antwerp and then buy more sugar or porcelain and then just kind of repeat that process until we build up enough to uh, buy our first ship kind of move things forward a little bit in the story you'll find here uh, in Lisbon this is one of the better places to buy new ships to start and or, or build rather you can build up to a carrick which holds uh, i believe 90 and i think this one holds 60 guys 30 guys and 20 guys if i remember correctly and then uh the, you know galleons you can make them hold you know anywhere from 100 to if you make it your main galleon you can make it uh up to 120 i want to say uh, so if you've got a, a flagship vessel that's 200 guys and a guy in that's only holding 180, you're pretty much guaranteed to win most of these. So they want 14,000 for that, uh, for the Carrick and it holds 420 cargo and 90 crew, as you can see. So yeah, that's, uh, watch, watch him, uh, cuss me out here. No good luck. <laughs> Anyways, um. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the uh, the game in a nutshell. And you can go out and do sea battles and things like that uh, against pirates and and uh, or other like countries that you're at war with. Like Portugal and Turkey hate each other, so that's always a good avenue. And at some point, they uh, they go into peace where sometimes you can't even get into the port during war. Other times you're able to uh, go to these countries and trade. As I said, this is pretty much a trading game set in uh, Super Nintendo, made in the 90s, and uh, it's a fun little game. So if you get a chance to try it, check it out. No, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Definitely an evil clown recommendation. Um, it's a super fun game. 
it takes quite a while to build yourself up. As soon as you uh, get enough ships, you can have up to, I want to say, like five ships total. And you can have thousands of cargo to be able to transport stuff. You can add armaments. A good place to get your armaments is down in Spain. And, and I believe it's I believe it's Madrid. Uh, there's two ports in Spain, one on one side, one on the Mediterranean side. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get your armaments cheaper there uh, than you can in Lisbon. And uh, you can build bigger ships uh, if you invest in the northern countries in Europe. You can build a, a guy in much cheaper uh, up there uh, than what you can in your home port once you buy new, when you start buying new. Uh, in the meantime, I would buy uh, your used ships down here at Lisbon. Uh, in the meantime, this is probably the best location to go for getting your uh, your new ships and getting things prepared. So that said, I'm going to leave it here, guys, and I uh, hope you have fun trying out this game, playing it. Like again, this is an emulator on ZSNES, Z-S-N-E-S. I haven't uh, updated in a long time, so who knows how what update version they're on. But uh, this plays all the older uh, .SMC versions. These are chips. Uh, that emulate the ROMs. Just do searches uh, for SNES ROMs and that should find you a ton of old games. Most of these are free if you go looking for them and they are super fun to play. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this series or at least this first session and episode of Uncharted Waters and I hope you come back next Thursday. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to post this on the Thursday uh, before Christmas to make sure it's scheduled. So uh, hopefully the week after that, I'll I have some time to uh, work on a new game and hope you uh, enjoy that as well. So enjoy the new series. I'll talk to you all later. Evil Clown is out of here.